Oh, welcome back to another video. In the last video, I showed you how to set an account in BandLab and how to change your profile. In this video, I want to show you how to add students again and what your students will see when they first log into BandLab. You strong. You strong. As always, the first thing that we need to do is to go to edu.bandlab.com. Remember, there are two types of band labs. There is a public one for all musicians and an education one. We always want to steer our students towards the education one. If you remember last week, we always go to the login button and we never want to fill in uh, our email or password because we can be forgetful. Same thing with our students. We'll always just click the G button to log in through Google. It should remember who you are. You might have to click on a few tabs to remind your computer who you are. But once you're in, you should see this. Now one thing I forgot to mention about last week is creating your school. Down below here, it has your schools. It's one of the first things that you're going to want to do where it says uh, join a school. And all you simply do is type in your school's account and add your school to it. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to really spend time doing that. However, I do want to show you how to join a class. Here we are in our class. As I mentioned last week, we can easily add students by simply clicking the Add Student button and display this password for our students. We can have the students come into our classroom, display that password, and have them type it in. Or, again, we can copy that link and email it to them so they just click on it. Or we can individually type it in. Either way, it all does pretty much the same exact thing. Let's go ahead and see what a student is going to see when they log into BandLab. Just like always, we're going to steer our students towards the education BandLab, edu.bandlab.com, and then we'll have them do the same thing. Once they're here, we can easily have them log in a few ways. We can have them click the login button and go through logging in through Google. The way that I like to do, however, is down below where it says start as a student. We'll click on that student button, and right there, it's asking for the invite code. Remember, the invite code is that password that we would display for them. Then it's going to tell them what BandLab is. Again, always steer your students away from filling in a name, email, and password because, again, if they forget it and they don't have access to their email, it's going to cause huge problems and issues. Always just log in through Google. Since I've logged on before, my computer remembers who I am. However, your students might need to retype in their Google email and uh, password and once they're in it should look something like this so this is my student account that I show students when I introduce a new lesson in Dan Lab that way everything that I'm showing them is the exact same thing that they'll see first thing I want you to notice is down on the left hand side you should be able to see their school that they're attached as you can see I have two schools right now the bottom one is the actual school that I teach at and the one that we just created now right in the middle is the classroom that we created However, yours might say 4G, 5M, or 6th grade. They'll only be part of one class, so it won't be as confusing for them. You can easily click on the class, and now this is their classroom profile. If you notice right away, on the left-hand side, theirs is very different. They do not have access to adding students or changing any profiles. All they can see is who is in the class. Right here is our profile picture for our class, if you remember. At the top here are three tabs. If we go to assignments, we can see all assignments, whether they are completed or not completed. We can view assignments that are only not done yet, ones that have been saved but haven't been finished, any assignments that have been returned because they've done something wrong, and we can see all assignments that have been submitted and completed. We can even see assignments that have been graded in BandLab. That's right, you can even grade students' assignments in BandLab pretty amazing. Where it says members, same thing like before, students are able to see all of their friends in the class and that way they can see who's in the classroom with them. Once students are in their class, the very first thing that I highly suggest you do is have them go to the top right and click on that profile setting button again. This is really fun for students because it lets them add their own little personality to it. I wouldn't let them change their name because this is what their name will be displayed in your classroom. And if you have students come up with a silly name or some kind of nickname, you're not going to know who they are. So I would definitely say leave their name alone, but have them change their profile picture. 
It can be silly, it can be serious, it can be, a, it can be a picture of them, whatever you like. At any time a student is lost in BandLab and doesn't know how to get back, you can always just click on the BandLab icon and that will bring you right back to their classroom. Let's go back into our classroom for a second. Right on the middle of the screen, this is right away where all assignments will be posted. So you have a new assignment posted, they can easily see it and be able to start their very first assignment. As students are logging in and joining, you can easily go back to your account, refresh it, and find all the new, all the new members that are in the classroom. And that's exactly what I would do on your very first lesson, is have them log in, have them change their profile picture, and that's it. Trust me, it's going to take some time, especially if it's brand new to them. So you're better off taking it very slow and having more success. Be strong. Be strong.